Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but as I always say, it would really, really help me out in where I'm trying to grow my channel, where I want it to be. OK, so let's start my clip for today. So do you have fine hair? Do you have flat hair? Well, always prepare fine hair. Rolls off the end of the tongue. Now, this has been something which has been on my mind uh, since this morning when I was studying my hair, and I thought to myself, you know, I've not covered this on my channel. I'm very often I'm trying to come up with new ideas and new topics and things to cover on my channel. I absolutely have a passion for styling fine hair. Now, you may think that I have really super thick hair and I have lots of it. Well, I always say that my hair is all smoke and mirrors because it's actually fine textured hair and it's not thick at all. And in places, it's quite thin. I'm not losing hair, but it's just naturally my texture and it's naturally quite fine and quite flat. And I have to do a lot with it to be able to get a style to hold. Now, I've had a lot of comments. I say a lot of comments. I've had a handful of comments, I say, which have said to me, you don't have fine hair. Um, sort of almost, almost sort of coming back sort of in a bit of a, a negative sort of way. Um, and this is not what I'm sort of trying to sort of get out there. What I'm trying to sort of do is I have fine hair. I know what works for me. So I'm trying to share that and I'm trying to sort of do something which I find is a hobby, which I find is an interest and something which if I can help others, which have fine hair and for styling fine hair, of course, having great hair gives you confidence, whether you're a man or a woman. So if you do watch my clip or you're watching it right now and you think actually, what on earth is Bradley going on about? He has not got fine hair. I've had problems with hair loss. 2015, I had problems with hair loss. I had super thin hair behind my hairline in 2015. And unfortunately, I haven't got any proof or pictures of that because I didn't have my channel in 2015 or I wasn't putting up and uploading clips on here. But my whole purpose of my clip today is to, in a way, sort of put something together, just sort of put a few tips and things together to go through some products and things. And just if you have fine hair, if you have thin hair, or if you have thinning hair, or you're a man or a woman, I've got some information for you. And hopefully you'll find it really interesting and you'll take some tips away yourself. So for me, when I have, uh, when I when I try and sort of, uh, or if I'm playing what type of style I want or when I'm styling my hair, the first thing what I always do is you have to prepare fine hair. If you don't, fine hair or thin hair doesn't have the luxury of being able to support itself. So very often, and if you're not necessarily following me, what I mean here is if somebody's got thick hair, they have that sort of structural integrity in their hair naturally, which holds a style. Thicker hair holds a style. So therefore, you don't necessarily have to do so much with it. Thick hair, of course, comes with its own problems. But one problem of holding or getting the volume or natural texture in the hair isn't necessarily an issue what people with fine hair and thinner hair textures have. Now, if I don't prep my hair in the correct way, which I've learned through many years of me trying to style my hair in sort of styles and different products and things which work for me, then... I've kind of built this sort of armory of knowledge up because very often if you if you don't, for example, if I don't prep my hair in the correct way, my hairstyle, it flops, it goes quite flat like today. You may think that this doesn't take too much time. I've sort of got a quite a nice high volume style today. I've got some sort of nice texture going on here. But if I didn't prep this, my hair is not thick. As you can see, it moves. It's not super thick at all. It may look thick, but it's all smoke and mirrors and it's tips and tricks which help it look thick. And if I didn't do this it would sit quite flat it would sit quite fine if the wind blows you can see more scalp in areas it's just a, not a nice sight so if you have fine or thin or thinning hair it can still look amazing and it can still look super full and super super thick now one thing which i would like to start with is always buying a shampoo or a conditioner because of course with fine or thin or thinning hair which can still look absolutely amazing on men and women it starts when your hair is wet in the bathroom so it starts in your washing routine so always buy a product which is designed for fine or for thinning or for sort of bulking out the hair because ultimately that's what you're trying to do you're trying to bulk out the hair if you imagine a fine textured hair cuticle it's fine it's quite downy it sits quite flat it's super sleek and it's super soft so therefore what you do find is women with a hair hair textures of this nature a curl doesn't last or it sits quite flat or the style falls or those amazing sort of glamorous blow dries which you see a lot of women with they fall flat quite quickly. Or with men, if you've got sort of like uh, sort of textured hair off to one side or volumized styles or pompadour styles, if you don't get the right sort of 
uh, sort of preparation behind that, then the hair flops or it, or it falls out of its style quite quickly. And it can just look quite lank, quite thin, and actually exacerbate a problem which you're trying to stay away from, or an image what you're trying to stay away from. So it all starts when the hair is wet. Now, a favourite product of mine for this is if I'm trying to bulk out my hair is the Biotin and Collagen Shampoo and Conditioner by Organics. Now this stuff is super amazing at adding bulk, thickness and texture to the hair. Of course, it's a cosmetic effect, so it has no real effect on hair loss or thin hair, but what it does, the whole time you're using it, it bulks out the roots, it bulks out the lengths and it adds thickness and fullness. And this is an ultimate favourite of mine. If I know I'm styling my hair, if I'm having a volumised style like this, or if I'm, or if I'm having a real high up uh, volumised pompadour style, then this is the range which I go to because this has biotin and collagen. Now, biotin and collagen is known for bulking up the hair, for thickening the hair, and how it works ultimately is it binding to the original or the sort of the hair which we have already. So, if you imagine the cuticle, what it's trying to do is a loop around the cuticle, plump it out, bulk it out. And then, of course, using a blow dryer and uh, like an oblong brush or a round brush or flip your head upside down or, or lean forward, blow drying your hair and then flip your hair backwards. You're getting texture, you're getting height in the hair and you're getting thickness and volume. So, of course, what you're doing is you're giving that illusion that you've got more hair than what you've actually got. But what this range absolutely does is it pumps texture and fullness into the hair. It lifts the hair away from the roots, which ultimately is what you're trying to do. The shampoo is amazing for that. And then what the conditioner does is it goes in and it really tries to lift everything away from the scalp. It conditions and keeps sort of heat damage and things at bay, but it really does look after the hair. But at the same time, it's putting texture and sort of resistance in the hair, giving you that almost scaffolding for you to go and install your hair. Another range which I absolutely love for creating texture in the hair and fullness and that lightweight feeling is by John Frieda. Now, this here is Volume Lift. I haven't reviewed this on my channel. This will be coming up soon. But this here is absolutely amazing at putting texture, at weightless volume in the hair and helping you create thicker, fuller looking hair. And what that does is it, it works in a way where it sort of elopes the hair, makes the hair sort of almost swell slightly, but it really does just get the air in there and make the hair appear th fuller, thicker, gives you a little bit of texture to go in, gives you a bit more scaffolding for you to then go and install your hair. It helps the hair stand away from your scalp. So of course it's all about getting that right preparation. Never buy sort of a, a smoothing shampoo or anything like that if you've got fine or thin hair. Even if you've got see-through hair, if you use the right products, it can still look really, really nice. You have, you know what, sometimes when I'm walking around and I'm not a professionally trained hairdresser or intracology or anything like that at all, of course, the study of the scalp and hair health, I'm, I'm nothing in any of that at all. This is purely just from my experience. But even when you find that you see somebody and they've got very, very little hair, very often I sort of think to myself, Do you know, what? with the right products, with the right shampoo, conditioner, root lifting spray, you could still have that real glamorous looking hair. Even if the light shines and you can see through the hair, it does not matter with the right colour, with the right cuts, with the right products. You can have really great looking hair. Yeah, I wonder what will come of that in the future. Perhaps I'll do something with it. Who knows? But those are the sort of the shampoos and conditioners and things which I really love to use for creating lift and for really creating that smoke and mirrors effect of making hair appear thicker and fuller. Ultimately, as you think, this would be super thick. What I've got, which makes it look super thick as well, is hairspray, free spray over the top to lock everything in because I know we live in the UK. We get rain, we get wind all the time. Our summers can be very, very varied. So you have to be ready all the time. If a wind or a gust of wind is coming, it's going to destroy your hair just like that. Now, I'm not vain or anything, but I like to feel that I've got good hair and it makes me feel confident and just makes you feel really good and really ready for sort of anything. So I know I have to have a good free spray because my hair is fine and it has to be like a dry free spray or a dry hair spray. Doesn't matter about cost either as well. This one is a good favourite of mine. It's by Super Soft, it's by Schwarzkraft. It's a volumising hairspray. It's a big, dramatic volume. Okay, it's originally for women's hair, but absolutely fantastic for men and women's hair. A blast of this when you've finished your hairstyle, just lock that style in. Super cool, super awesome, and holds really great. That texture, that volume, that thickness makes the hair look fuller and thicker. So it's all about that preparation and all about that finishing of the hair as well. For women's hair, if you've got long hair, but perhaps you're thinking that it's quite lank, it's quite fine, one of your best friends can be using the right 
shampoo and the right conditioner but then a root lifting spray now i use a root lifting spray and if you're a woman and you've got layers that can sometimes be counterintuitive and make the length of your hair look a bit finer and can actually make the hair look a bit more sparse but styled the right way with a round brush in a medium heat with a root lifting spray it can look amazing which takes me on to this so this is the paul mitchell extra body boost root lifting so if you've got fine hair you've got layers it's looking a little bit sparse grab a round brush Grab a blow dryer, use a heat, uh, sort of uh, medium heat sort of blow dryer, spray something like this in the roots or a sort of a root lifting product, which what it ultimately does is it makes the roots sort of swell up so slightly. Very often in these products, you find that they contain sort of proteins in or hydrogenized wheat or products like that or keratins, which bulk the hair out and make it thicker and fuller. Really concentrate on the roots. Don't bother spraying it throughout the lengths, the roots, because what that does is it gives more of a scaffolding, which fine thin hair lacks. Even in men's hair, myself, every style I style my hair, I use a root lifting spray through because I know that I've got fine hair. I know that my hair's gonna look good when I'm finished for 10 minutes, an hour later, it's gonna start to flop. It's gonna start to sort of look as though that I haven't really bothered too much. So using a spray like this, what I do is I use a shampoo and a conditioner, very often to help sort of hair loss and hair thin, keep it in a bay, or I use something like the biotin collagen and uh, shampoo and conditioner, and that just bulks everything out. Or I use another favorite of mine, Bontresemme, the collagen fullness, because this stuff works amazingly at adding fullness and texture of just bulking the hair out almost even though if you're not losing hair hair if it's naturally fine or thin it just needs a bit of help it needs that resistance that sort of structure that scaffolding for you then to go on and create a hairstyle using a root lifting spray which i use every day when i spray uh, my hair and uh, when i spray my hair when I use a blow dryer and I style my hair into place, then I know I've got the shampoo to re really be working sort of for me with my hair making it thicker and fuller. I've then got the conditioner, which is even more helping the thickness and the fullness. And then I've got the root boosting spray to help me create a real full bodied, nice style with texture, fullness, thickness, because I know it's going to help my hair last and last and last in the style which I want. And it's going to keep working for me rather than against me. Now, another one of my favourites I really, really like is by Trevor Sorbet, Thicker and Fuller. Yeah, it's a pink bottle. It's a little bit sad, unfortunately, that it's just for women. But of course, men can use this product as well. The men's version, they have stopped and discontinued. I haven't got a clue why. Um, I even had somebody reach out to me on my channel saying that they even contacted Trevor Sorbet and they didn't get a reply. So it's really sad. But even though the packaging looks stereotypical for women, um, this stuff is really great. It's spraying the roots. I've got this stuff in today, but I... Very often you don't have to, but you can spray a root lifting spray through the lengths of your hair as well. But I find with that, just be careful because what it does is it can make the hair tangled a little bit, particularly finer hair has an tendency to tangle. But of course, getting back to that preparation, making time for the right preparation, you can have fine, thin, thinning hair looking super cool, super awesome, and particularly any style you want, to be quite honest with you. Um, it's all about giving yourself a little bit more time, a little bit more preparation. And with the right products, your hair can look amazing. Fine, thinning hair can look amazing. Um, another product which I really, really love and actually enjoy, and as you can see, I'm going through it and it's nearly gone, is by the Pantene pro -V Miracles Roots Awakener Biotin, Bamboo and Caffeine. Now, caffeine is another huge thing for me. This is amazing stuff. Spread at the roots. It really helps sort of real plump up and add bulk to the hair. And then you go in in style with sort of like a wax or a putty, if it's sort of my length hair, my texture hair, or if you're a man watching this, this, then you've got the shampoo, the conditioner working for you, the root lifting spray, then you're gonna go in and use some wax or some putty and things in your hair. You've got full hair, which looks super, super thick. So of course it's all those tricks that are working for you. As I say, my style, my hair is always smoke and mirrors. There's more air in my hair, to be honest, than actually hair. And I say that. So. Whoever's watching this and thinking you've got super thick hair, I haven't. It's more air than hair. I always make a bit of a joke about that as well, because it's more product as well, rather than actually hair. Um, but again, I'm happy with it. it. looks super cool. makes me feel confident um, and looks super thick. So yeah it's a it's an it's an all it's a winner all around to be quite honest with you another product which i just want to sort of bring this sort of to an end because as we know that thick hair has that luxury of having it, it supports itself whereas fine hair or thinning hair whether you're a woman or a man it doesn't it just falls flat it's it it sort of rests against the scalp it doesn't look thin it doesn't look thick rather it looks quite thin in places it can do it can be quite lank and it can fall flat for example, if you've spent at the hairdressers 
And when I've been having my hair cut before, you see these these women have amazing sort of blowout looks, um, those sort of real top end professional blow dries, and they look absolutely so glamorous and just stunning, stunning hair. Um, amazing. But if you've got fine hair, no matter how long you're spending with that brush and that blow dryer, it's going to fall flat if you don't use the right preparation techniques. To be honest, no matter what you sort of dress that up, it's going to fall flat if you don't use the right products. So even again, with the finest of hair, with the right products, it can still look really glamorous, really sort of amazing on a woman and sort of it can look really super cool on a man as well. This is where it brings me on to this product here. So, of course, fine hair lacks that sort of stability and structure. With this stuff, if you've got the finest of hair, this is like a volumizing powder by Schwarzkopf Got To Be. This stuff is amazing because in dry, blow dried hair, you can really add bulk to your hair and thickness and falling, falling thickness <laughs> to your hair and sort of ultimately be the sort of building blocks of then going in to create your style. This stuff, if you hold your roots off to the side, tap it all through, sort of like if you have one parting, two parting, three, tap this through your hair and then into the crown and then massage into the roots. What you're doing is that product is lifting the hair up. It's making the hair feel sort of like a sponge and it's inflating ever so slightly. And you can feel that almost the, even the tiniest little hairs in the hairline, they bulk up, they get more grip, more fullness, more stability, and ultimately makes it much more easier for you to style. So again, preparation is key when you've got fine or thin or thinning hair. Now, ultimately, I want to leave you on a positive because none of this has to be expensive. As a passion, I spend an awful lot on hair products for my channel, but it's something I enjoy. So please don't think it has to be expensive. This hairspray, for example, here, not much more than a pound, two pounds. It's fantastic. It's really, really good at holding and giving volume. If you've got longer hair, lifting the hair up, a little bit of a spray in the roots, rough it up slightly. You've got volume, texture, a little bit of back combing. Incredible. This conditioner here, two pounds fifty. It adds so much fullness and texture into the hair. It doesn't have to be expensive at all. When you start getting to the organics products, those or organics, I don't know how to pronounce correctly. This stuff here can be a little bit more costly around the seven pounds, eight pounds, six pounds each. But of course, it's an investment. You don't have to use too much. Um, really, really quite. It's a really great product. And I think it's sort of typical, isn't it, for anybody? If you find a product which you know works for you, then you don't have to look no further. Because I do find the organic uh, and collagen, your hair doesn't get used to it. It really does bulk up. It adds bulk. It adds thickness each time you use it, which is fantastic. When you start getting to products like the Paul Mitchell, that's a little bit more of an investment. But of course, again, you don't have to go crazy with it. You don't have to use loads of it. And again, if you find a product which works for you, use it sparingly. Come up with a routine for you. You may not even need to use it every time you wash your hair. You may want to. You may not want to. Use and do what works for you. OK, so and as we started the clip, so always prepare fine hair and you will see huge benefits. Even the finest of hair can look thick and full. OK, so I hope you've taken some tips away from my clip today. I really hope you've enjoyed that. I certainly have. Thank you very much indeed for your company. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye now.